Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London down at Quicksilver Exhaust, where behind me is the car that I drove down here in. I have no idea whether I've posted that on social media yet or there has been a full video of me daily driving a Hurricane STO. If there is, I'll leave a link in the description. If there isn't, stay tuned for that video. But I'm down here because 30 minutes ago, Barry from Quicksilver invited me to come and listen to and experience the big full fat Range Rover with the first customer exhaust installed. And well, we have a lovely selection of supercars lined up, 812 GTS, AMG GT Black Series and a rather stunning gentleman leaning up against the Quicksilver wall. Barry, how's it going? Uh, very well. <laughs> yeah, you're looking <laughs> so smug. Uh, what a beautiful car that we have inside. A satin black Range Rover sitting on, are they 23 yeah, urban wheels? Like yeah. I don't know, let's have a look at it because this has just had the Quicksilver Sound Architect exhaust installed and have a look at this. Yep, very first one, apart from the development vehicle, very first one on the UK roads. And has an exhaust been, I don't know another exhaust that's for the big Range Rover. That we know of, no, it's the first one. So I mean, obviously this is almost like a limousine, but they're very, very quiet from stock. But this system obviously, it's a bit louder when the valves are shut than stock, but when the valves are open, it really opens up the V8, which is oh. what a lot of people really want. Yeah, yeah, okay, so do you want to start it up because I've not listened to this, you haven't listened to this. No. This has literally just been installed and I have forced the guys here to not start it so that we can capture it on camera for the first time. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. So that's valve shut. Yeah, that's valve shut. You can fire open the back up again now, We might have to take the quick <laughs> the number plate off. Have to remind myself to do that. I've done that many a time. The spec on this is absolutely perfect. I'll tell you what, it is a completely different noise inside to outside. It sounds like a monster outside. Does it? <laughs> it sounds so good. And now we're inside. Obviously, it's such a big thing to cut through the air. With the window down, you're getting a lot of wind noise going through, but you're so far away from the exhausts being here, sat in complete comfort. And then you put the window up, go on. Okay, there's a little bit of a VA rumble. Probably not on the best road to be able to exert the majority of the noise out of this car but actually Range Rover have done such a great job with the internal insulation of the sound oh okay that sounds pretty good that does sound pretty good it's the right amount it's very similar to you know when we drove the Defender is it a 110 with the Quicksilver sound yeah, architect yeah, the that obviously had a different characteristic it's a completely different engine but the car itself has a different personality so you want it to be a little bit more shouty this is all about luxury it's a bit of a limo it's a bit more uh you could be chauffeur driven in this but then having that tone it kind of shows off the engine that you've got up front and i think that's the most important that's the key to this car is it's found that sweet spot it's not obnoxious and it's not so shouty that you're like oh my god i can't believe i've just done that to my car no like and i think a lot of people that may be clicking on into this video are thinking why would you put an exhaust system onto the most luxurious top spec halo range rover um but actually it makes sense when you're in it obviously we've got the valves open now i can imagine with the valve shut it's almost silent in here
I don't know whether I want to turn the valves off <laughs> because <laughs> so just cruising around and knowing that you've got that rumble. One of my favorite things when I was driving the Audi RS6 was you can cruise around in complete comfort. You've got all of the technology that you could ever need in a car that costs 120 grand or whatever it was, <laughs> but you knew that you had a V8 because you could just flick the exhaust valve button open and it's a little bit like the Jaguars where you have that exhaust button so you could drive it in comfort mode but then have the tone to go with it. Almost yeah. everyone at JLR says, just drive in comfort mode, but put the valves open just so that you can hear it. And right here, I've got the Sound Architect app, which means if I press this button, it's now civilized and understated. I mean, yeah, it's not much at all. You can still hear it. Yeah. You can still definitely tell that it's got an exhaust. Let's yeah. back off from this MG a little bit because we're now on a national speed limit, so we should. Go on. Yeah, you can tell that it's yeah. muted. You can tell that it's muted. You know that the valves are shut, and then boop. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that beep coming from, by the way? That beep is uh, that is actually from the module. Ah, uh, uh, okay, car. okay. And you can that module at the moment has just been very loosely plumbed in. Yes. But you would usually hide it under where the tire is or the yeah, wheel yeah, wheel yeah, is yeah. or the wheel wheel. This has literally just gone on today. Yeah, I wasn't even is. supposed to be coming down. I had no, no. plans to be at Quicksilver. <laughs> but you text me and was like, hey, do you want to come down and check out the first customer exhaust on the on the new Range Rover? Yeah. And I think now it completes the car. I love this thing. And I've said for a long time, this is better than the Range Rover Sport. For a long time, everyone wanted the Sport because you had the SVR. Yes. Whereas now, you've got the best of both worlds. You've got a, a sort of more aggressive exhaust tone which suits the engine that you've got in this car. But then you've got all of the comfort and you're cruising around. I mean, this car needs fuel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We are running on vapors, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah, it is a very, very comfortable car. I will, for the sake of the rest of the video, turn the valves off and we can enjoy the comfort and the quietness of what you would expect from a beautiful Range Rover. I think the spec on this is perfect as well. Satin cool. black, yeah. it just suits the car. Satin black, gold wheels. Whoever owns this car has spec'd it to perfection and has done the absolute right thing and gone and got a Quicksilver Sound Architect because it just makes a huge difference. No, actually, I'm gonna turn the valves back on. I know you're putting your foot down, <laughs> so I just wanna hear it a little bit more. I mean, we've come specifically to a location quite close to Quicksilver in the hope to capture some really nice picturesque British village with a Range Rover in full-blown Mafia spec with the Quicksilver Sound Architect. And a woman came up walking a dog and was like, wow, I've never seen a car like, what is that? I was like, that's the new Range Rover. Does it always sound like that? I've never heard a Range Rover sound like that before. I was like, no, you probably haven't. This is the first customer car. <laughs> so yeah, not quite going according to plan here, but we have still got the beautiful rumble of the V8 and we are now heading back to Quicksilver and it has been a whirlwind of an afternoon absolutely unexpected to say the least and um, well an absolute pleasure to experience another full fat Range Rover I love this car it... even more so now it just sounds as good as it looks and I fully wasn't expecting it to be as specked out as this is gone <laughs> very cool just commands and demands road presence such a cool thing and amazing to see quicksilver be so quick to this car Whoa! <laughs> so you did the development and now this is the first customer car first one off the blocks but uh there's plenty more coming I soon bet. <laughs> I, I bet so yeah 
ladies and gentlemen, head into the link in the description, check it out. I'm sure there'll be more content to come. I'm definitely gonna post some stuff on my iPhone from filming, just getting some flybys and some sounds because it does sound so good. And I can't believe it sounds as good as it does. So I will leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments about whether this car should sound as good as it does or whether you believe it should be silent a little bit like a Rolls Royce. I think it deserves this system on a car that has the beautiful 4.4 litre V8. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Goodbye.